Hey guys, Dennis here, KCMD, Kicking Cancer Metal Detecting. I'm out a little bit early this morning because of that uh, gold ring I found uh, the last time I was on this property. and So I figured since I was already here, I'd ask and see if they'd let me detect during the daytime here while the shop is open. They said, go ahead. So we're going to get geared up and uh, I'm going to head out into the field over here and see if we can find another gold ring maybe it'll be uh, uh, a little bit better gold quality maybe not any kind of a ring would be fantastic all right guys i'll see you on the first good target Okay guys, so our first target out uh, is going to be this giant chunk of melted aluminum. Uh, not sure why they would have melted it. Might have been in a fire. So uh, we'll keep looking. I'll see you on the next good target. And there you have it. There's a hose connector. We're going to keep looking. Okay guys, that was a really deep hole. It was ringing in at a 30, 31, and normally that would, for me would be a quarter um, or a big chunk of iron. And in this case, I've got a big chunk of iron and another big chunk of iron and, um, and an old nail. And so, uh, yeah, there you go. That's my third hole of the day. We're going to continue on. Thanks for checking in. Okay, guys, we're on our second piece of melted aluminum. No, sorry for that hiccup. I'm not sure what that's all about, but uh, we're going to keep looking. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. We got our first coin of the day. I've uh, been here about uh, well, 15, 20 minutes, and uh, we've got a zinc penny. Happy to have a penny in the pouch. We're going to continue on. Okay, guys, can you see that right there in the middle of the hole? I'm going to call this my Easter egg. That's going to be a small lead sinker used for the uh, fishing industry. It's not part of a uh, cast net weight, but it is a lead weight for fishing. Um, a little bit of patina on it, so. You know, it might have been down here for five or ten years. Uh, it might have been down here a lot longer. But um, you see the seam line. This is probably a homemade one. The seam line. Um, Cobains, we'll see you on the next. All right, I'm going to try to live dig this one. I don't think it's very deep. And it's reading at a 30. So a 30 on my machine would make it a quarter, I believe. Let's see if I'm right. Now we're not far from where we dug the, uh, the sinker. Ah. What do we have there? Nah! Oh, that's terrible. It's a Pepsi free. <laughs> wow, what a bummer. All right. We'll see you on the next. Okay, guys, I'm going to need your help to identify this piece. Um, uh, let's see if, I'm going to take a little walk in the sun a little bit more, but uh, what we've got here is maybe, maybe, I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. All right, we've got this ginormous electrical item I've never quite seen anything like it um, it's clearly a plug for something there's the wires going in um, one screw on it two rivets 
and then these connectors around the outside and one in the middle if you know what this is or could have been from uh, please drop me a comment down there in the uh, in the bottom right down below there drop me a comment let me know what you think thanks guys and I think it's brass okay guys so I put my camera up on my little mini tripod because I've got a larger item here you can see here there's a knob and uh, I thought that was going to be uh, part of a, uh, a nail head or something and over here I popped this little piece out uh, and it's a hollow iron tube See that I think we've got part of a lamp here so we're going to try to dig it out together it's a large item I can feel it all the way over to here see it pop in there see what we get out here it comes oh nope nope oh I know what it is oh check it out oh that's not a lamp at all that's a bathtub connector oh the knob would have been to uh, release the, uh, the the holding tank down there so that's a big old chunk of brass right there uh, the bathtub or sink maybe um, that's a great little faucet what a what a sweet wine oh yeah happy 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 all right guys I'll see you on the next all right guys so uh, this piece uh, we pulled out a big chunk of aluminum and then we pulled this up and um, it's just got a little bit of fancy on it I can get it to focus up get a little light on it there we go so you see it's got that little fancy on the sides it's one hole and a couple of rivets I'm not sure what that would have been from um, I don't know uh, but it's right near where I found the, uh, the 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 faucet so we're gonna keep looking this is I'm gonna stay right in this general area because I think that I might be where they buried the house or, or something to that effect so we'll keep looking um, if, if you think you, know, you might know what this is from or to drop me a comment down below thanks for checking in okay guys so uh, this hole was a little deeper and uh, produced a couple of neat stuff neat items so we got a key I always like getting those keys they're fun to catch and and uh, I don't know that this one is terribly old. Um, might be a, a, a lock key. Alright. Um, says National Key Company. USA. So it's an older key. Um, and it's a Jetco or Jetco. There you go, we got a key. All right, and then, still had a target in there, and I dug this baby up. Now, as railroad spikes go, this is pretty small. Um, and I, it's got a, a, a different kind of head on it than what I'm used to seeing. So we'll, we'll try uh, maybe some electrolysis on that and see see what it is now we are right next to the railroad track so i'm not surprised that i found a, a railroad spike all right guys i'll see you on the next good target all right guys so check this one out i think what we've got here is a small part off from a clock or a watch uh where this would have been the uh the timepiece pointer Maybe that's what it, that's what it appears to be to me. And so, if you know different, uh, drop me a comment below. Uh, we're on to the next target. All right, guys, I don't I don't quite know what that is, but uh, it's brass. Got a couple of rivets on the top. It's got a through tang and uh, some kind of a stretch stretchy uh, spring like a cushion no idea what that is uh, so this property I don't think this property has ever been searched 
Um, uh, the the amount of targets out here are phenomenal. It's this is going to be a long process. Maybe I'll have to invite a few friends out here. Uh, if you'd like to come out here and dig with me, uh, drop me a comment below. Okay, guys. Well, these guys out here surely love their beer. Uh, uh, nice thing about this one is the pull tab. They've stuck it inside the can. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, yeah, there it is. They've stuck it inside the can, so at least I won't have to worry about digging up the pull tab, eh? You gotta love it. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next target. Alright guys, we've got our next penny. It's gonna be a copper this time, and it's 1980. Happy to have that. See you on the next. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, we've got a pretty good hole going here. We've got a bunch of stuff we found, but a um, little bit of trash, aluminum, and iron, cast net weight, I always find those cast net weights out here, um, and then this thing here, um, and I'm not really sure what that is, it's brass, so uh, another piece for the, uh, the brass bucket, okay guys, I'll see you on the next target, okay guys, so, uh, when I close up this hole, I'm going to take a little break, go see the owner of the property and, and have a bite to eat and get a drink and have a sit down and rest. But this hole produced uh, a tin can, a trash. But something else came up out of the hole that's not metallic. And, um, and when I first saw it, I thought, yeah, that might be. And then I brushed it up. And, and let me show you what I pulled up. So this, this is going to be, this is going to be a piece of coral. If you look real close, you can see the fibers in it. That, that is just really cool. I'm going to call that right now my find of the day. I'm going to take it in and show the uh, property owner, and he may very well want that. He may not, but uh, I'll tell you what, that makes me happy. Uh, it's a nice find, and uh, I'll see you after lunch. Hey there, boys and girls, kids and campers. Uh, uh, I've had a break. I've had a little bite to eat. I've drank some uh, some water and um, uh, showed the owner the coral, the piece of coral we dug up out here, and he thought that was pretty darn cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on it, start swinging again. It's heating up out here. I don't know how long I'll last, but uh, we're gonna continue uh, continue on and see what we can find. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you on the next good target. Okay, guys, first target out is going to be uh, part off of my jealousy window. So we're, we're right there in the area of where a house would have been, and we're on target. I'll see you on the next, the next good signal. Well, guys, I flipped that plug up, and out came this uh, elbow. That's going to be a big old nice chunk of brass there. All right, we'll see you on the next. Okay guys, I apologize for the road noise, but we're by the road. I um, just pulled this big old brass chunk up out. Uh, it's going to say USA and uh, 7189. I don't know what any of that means, and I don't know what this would have come out from, but uh, it's got a big brass screw in it. It's been mower modified, and uh, happy to have another chunk of brass in the uh, recycle bin. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, we got this out. It's a little uh, connector, wire connector. It's got a little bit of uh, writing on it. Um, I suspect it's off from a telephone line, um, or a telephone wire connector or something like that. Um, but uh, I think it's copper or brass. Pretty cool find. See you on the next. Okay, guys, well, the heat is really starting to take its toll on me out here. Um, I'm going to swing back to the van and uh, shut down. And if I come across a good target, I'll come back and give you a high haul. And, and if I don't, I'll see you on the wrap up. I thank you for checking in. And uh, yeah, man, living the dream, baby. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to do my wrap-up now. Um, 
Uh, you know, it was uh, it was a good day. It was I found a lot of stuff, but I found I dug a lot of trash, and and you got to do that on these uh, new properties that haven't been searched before because you want to get the trash out of the way so you can find the better stuff. Um, so I'm going to switch the camera around to show you what I got out in. Uh, happy, happy, happy. I'll show you what I got. Okay, guys, I'm going to start here. This is my bucket of trash for the day. Lots of cans and aluminum and, and uh, pieces like that that would have been part of the support for the building or the roof or the wall or something. Uh, light fixtures and that sort of thing. And over here, uh, we've got... Um, Oh, uh, we've got our jealousy window parts. That's trash. Another one of those things. That's trash. Um, we've got this gem right here. Uh, that is going to go into my uh, brass recycling. All right, that's a good heavy chunk there. Another big chunk of brass. Um, these would have been uh, hinges. Uh, from something, you know, a way to uh, hinge and hold up stuff. Um, aluminum. Uh, more brass. That'll go in the bucket for brass. The mystery item. That's brass. That'll go in the bucket. Uh, another chunk of brass. We got a lot of brass today. Um, this plate here, it's aluminum. Uh, Would have been a marker plate or a connector or something like that. Um, lead you know we love to pick up that lead so we got whoops there goes a chunk of lead there we got plenty of lead today there's the lead happy to have that and uh, so that'll go in a different bucket throw that over there uh, another piece of lead um, we got mystery item number two it's got a little springy dingy on it I have no idea what that thing would be for. It's brass. Uh, so it'll go in the brass bucket. Um, a brass coupler. A brass nut. And a brass fuse end. Those are all going in the brass bucket. Uh, we did find one copper penny today and one zinc penny. Uh, throw those back there. Um, we, got, we got the little short... Uh, railroad spike and, and I was talking to Park Rat Pat about this and he was explaining what this would have been for but this is a pretty neat find it'll have a number on the top probably and with a little electrolysis I can find out what it says and that'll identify what year this thing was made and uh, for me my my uh, oh uh, uh, here we got these things as well um, we got this little item here which is part of a brooch would have had a stone in the top um, the little, uh, watch hand. Okay, we got a key. You know, I love those keys. And we got this thing here, which is, uh, uh brass. Again, it's, it, I, I'm thinking it's for, uh, uh, electrical copper from the, uh, telephone, uh, lines. So we'll pull those there. And then the, uh, the real find of the day is not metal of any kind. It's coral. And I've dug up several pieces of coral out here today uh, in the holes where I'm digging. And so that kind of helps me to date this property. And um, these have been in the ground a long time. So uh, I'll do a little research and maybe we can find out maybe if there's a way to date them. Um, but that's really cool to dig up some coral out here. Thanks for checking in. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next dig.